your host, Carter. In this episode, we are excited to bring you stories of clubs at Branson High School. And we get to announce the fall sports honors. We also get to hear what the student council has been planning for sport running and the blood drive. But first, let's check in with our sports beat for the fall sports recap. We've grown up playing together our whole lives pretty much from like fourth grade. So we've naturally always had that team bond. And I mean, we all know each other very well. So it, teamwork's always been pretty good. But yeah, it's been pretty, going pretty good this season with teamwork and everything. And we've just been competing and playing to get better uh, when it's playoff time. And I think the goal is just to see how far we could get and win it all. I mean, that's always the goal. I mean, we've got what, seven or eight seniors this year. So, I mean, everybody looks up to us. So we've been doing our best, setting good examples and... Show them to work hard and play together. I think having a good team chemistry is the best, best way to really bring up the energy, the positivity around, and that's what we've been trying to do. The best about, part about competing is it's just someone new every game. I mean, you're always, uh, having to face new matchups and grow as a team in all different areas and every team exposes something that we can work on for the next game to come. COCs, I know that people want to do good. It's just more of a normal tournament. It can be sometimes like some people's last tournaments if they don't go to districts, but it, it's a goal every tournament to do good, but for districts, it's a goal to get top four or top three because you want to move on to state. So, yeah, um, I feel like we do a really good job. I mean, uh, there's some sometimes there's some people that like don't do as great, but for the most part, our leaders really step up and they show good examples for our younger un underclassmen. <laughs> I think the best part is just. I don't know, having fun with it. Like, it can be a lot and it can be stressful, but it's really fun when you just go out there and do it for yourself. And I guess winning's fun too. <laughs> I'd say the best piece of advice I've gained from my coaches is to not let my losses get to me. Cause um, when you lose, it's really hard to keep your head in the right space. It's a really big mental sport. So just um, keeping it cool and learning from your mistakes and just doing better is probably the best advice I've gotten. I really feel like the team has been really working together pretty well this year. And um, like, I feel like we're really building off each other's strengths and really helping each other out. And that's what's helping us win these duels. My goals are to win all three. I'd really like to get my first COC title, uh, be in our district champ and win state this year. Uh, I felt my, my goal is the same, to win all three. Uh, it was my first year winning COCs. Uh, and I plan to win state this year. I feel like the upperclassmen are setting uh, great examples. Like uh, we have seniors like Dawson Harold and Alex Bezeros that are working through injuries. Uh, it just shows like their dedication and commitment to the sport. Personally, for me, the best part about competing is going to be the thrill of getting to see if my hard work and my dedication to the sport is able to allow me to defeat my opponent, uh, to put my skills against their own. Is your spirit ready? Court warming week is on its way. That's right. On February 4th, Student Council will be hosting a neon themed dance with 80s themed wear all week. The Student Council is also organizing another blood drive on February 16th. To give you more information on these upcoming events, here are some interviews we conducted with some Stuco representatives. <laughs> Stuco 
So our student council hosted court warming dance this year. It's going to be on February 4th. Uh, our theme, the spirit week leading up to it, is going to be the 80s with more information as far as the specific spirit days to be posted in the hallways as that event comes up. Tickets will be $5 at lunch in the two weeks preceding the event or $10 at the door and it will be hosted here at BHS in the Commons. Do you have some time to kill after school? If so, you may be interested in some of our many clubs at BHS. Our activities committee has selected a few clubs to highlight. Explain to me the pilot training course. So the pilot training course is basically our ground school. Um, we are very fortunate to be able to do this. Um, it allows us to compete for a um, a pilot slot at the Air Force Junior ROTC Flight Academy that allows us to go to a university for about two months and uh, that enables us to get our private pilot's license. So it's a very awesome opportunity. It allows for many scholarships within the Air Force as well. Well, what do you think about the AFJRTC pilot training course? Well, we're very fortunate here that we can have a full-up FAA ground school because I'm a certified instructor. I have six cadets, seniors, and juniors in the class now, four of which received a summer scholarship flying program. So we will get our ground school done and pass our FAA private pilot written test while we're in school. And then this summer, they will all go off to various universities and get their private license. That's a $24,000 scholarship. It also puts them up on the ladder for a possible academy or ROTC scholarship. So it's a great deal for an entrance into the Air Force. So on the flight simulator, we have the rudder, rudder pedals that on the ground, it'll control your direction. So when you're on the ground, this does not work. Um, and so, and then it also controls a little bit of direction in, uh, in flight. But in flight, your main uh, is going to be the yoke pulled up to go up, push down to go down, side to side is your directions. Uh, right here we have the throttle that controls your RPMs as well as speed. And then we have the fuel mixture which you would change depending on altitude, temperature, and other vari variants, as well as landing lights and we're able to use it for multiple different aircraft. So we have it set up for a Cessna 172 for training because um, that's what we train out of, but we can set it up for other different aircraft as well. During the editing process of the last PTZ, we made a discovery and here is that footage. He's real. Reporting for PTV, I'm Abby Moment. And I'm Carter James. Stay cool, Branson.